let's say you got a show coming up. It's relatively straightforward. Um, and you've got a script that says exactly what you are going to need to do the entire time. We can set up the spider to run it all with one button. First thing I want to do is make a new command key. Just make an empty one. I'm going to call it show. It's relative. That's good. I'll highlight it. We're going to add graphics one, mixer, graphics two, mixer, oh, well, screen two, screen three, and screen four. All four screens, just the uh, graphics one. Let's go ahead and make sure they're going where they belong. In preview, very good. Treatment, okay. Yep, they're all 1080. Very cool. Let's go into program. Whoa. And we're going to add an off element here. Graphics one, maybe it's just a scrolling loop of sponsor slides or something like that. And Perhaps we're going to make this smaller because we're going to use the script a lot. Let's go down just to start. Let's go down here. All of these need to come down just up until Q9. I don't think that really goes down. That's okay. No big deal. What we'll do is once everyone gets settled in the room, we're going to take graphics two, which is the main slide deck. I'm going to put graphics two there. Whoop. Graphics two, graphics two, graphics two. Now if we hit space, highlight the program, click space, you see that up here, everything changed to graphics too, just like we wanted. At some point, perhaps, we're going to go to playback. So playback pro, we're going to go into one and two and three and four. You know, realistically with this show, you only need, that I'm doing, you only need one output and you can use a DA to send it down to everything. Maybe you've got some HDMI and some SDI, so maybe you only need two outputs. But it's already set up this way, I'm gonna keep going with it. So what happens when we go to playback? Well, ideally you've got a playback pro operator and he hits take the same time that you hit take. But perhaps this company you work for, they're real, this, uh, they own a spider, but <laughs> They spent all their money on the spider. They got no money for labor and you're going to have to do both jobs. So this is where our function keys come in. One of the function keys from the previous video was to network command to take a clip on playback. So we've got our clip loaded into preview ahead of time, ready to go with the show. Click down here for when this is going to happen. So we want to accomplish two things here. First, we're going to apply a function key. In this case, it's take. And uh, our clip is 30 seconds long. So we'll add a 30 second wait, at which point it will automatically move on to the next area. I can't really show this because uh, you know, take is on a whole different computer. We can use test. And my test is just changing the source to a still. So we're going to go to graphics two. And just to be sure, I've got a 30, let's change it to a, a two second wait, but it'll activate function key number one, our test function key. So from here, I'm in the script, I hit space, and four should instantly change to our still image showing that the function key activates. Yep, that was it. 
So instead of test, you put take. And that way, as soon as you take it and you go to script number three, you end up taking the playback with the Playback Pro machine and the spider at the same time. 30 seconds later, it's gonna go away. Oh yeah, I gotta show you that part. Two seconds. Okay, one, two, and look, it moved right along to the next open space. We'll leave it in two seconds for now. And what happens at the next space? Well, let's wait for one second. And while we do that, we are going to kill. And then we are going to prepare the next clip. And then when we get here, we go back to graphics two. And perhaps you have another playback, in which case you want to take again. And maybe that video is longer. Maybe it's one minute and 30 seconds. So let's take what we've got so far. Got our slideshow automatically rotating through all of our sponsors. Speaker comes up. Speaker wants to show a video. Video takes, 30 seconds later, kills it, loads the next clip, and goes back to graphics two. When I'm ready to take, I would hit space, it would load the next playback, and it would do everything all over again. So the one thing I didn't show you was the jump option here. We'll choose direct. Come on now. Click it to make sure it's highlighted. Go to Q1. And let's try to make it work. When it gets to seven, should go back to one. No, this was a mistake that I did off screen. Okay, from here, space, space, there we go. It jumped right back up to one. So when Playback Pro is finished, we went back to graphics one. That was the end of the show. Good night, everybody. That was so easy. It's just space, space, wait out the video, space, space, wait out the video. It goes back to one. You can name all of these cues. Graphics to new video one. Kill V video one. Graphics to video two. Go to Q1.